So Erin has some toys there that are featured in this year's guide that she's going to talk to us about. What do you have up first, Erin? Yes. Okay. So what I want to preface my toy selections with is that sometimes families look at the guide and they're, they, 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 Sometimes they can't find something for their child because their needs are, are more than what an off-the-shelf toy might offer. But we always think that every child can play with every toy. So I want to point out some features of these toys that make them more accessible or could be adapted for a child with special needs. Great. So first up, I have Bunchums. And these have been pretty popular in the news lately because some kiddos have been getting them stuck in their hair. But... At LechoTech, we always think that it's important for parents to engage and play with their children, so there shouldn't be any problems with kids getting these stuck in their hair if the parent is participating in play. Okay. Um, so if you've seen these, Spin Master Bunchums, very fun, fail-free play. There's no wrong way to do this. They stick so easily. Um, they kind of remind me, Shannon, if you've seen these before, of burrs. Like, you know, if you were walking and they just yeah. stick to your pant leg, you, you cannot... You couldn't possibly put this on this bunch of bunchums without it sticking. You just can't get it wrong. Fail free, open ended, great fun. They're addictive and yeah. great for a wide variety of things. I'm thinking that these are great for fine motor um, and and for imagination. For our kids that can't handle play doh. Um, because of the textures of it sticking to fingers, that would be a great thing that you can build things with a Play-Doh, like, like you would with Play-Doh. Really fascinating. You can work on putting different colors together and matching. Really great toy. Mm -hmm. And they have lots of really fun different sets. So if the kid does need a little more support with their imagination and they need um, you know, a bug set or a dinosaur set or something like that to encourage that imagination, they have those as well. And you really, they're just super, super fun. So I, I would highly recommend these. Functions. Okay, very cool. So then next um, on my list is this fun guy here by Fisher Price, Fisher Price Beepo. He is just flying off the shelves this year, so you need to go out and get him if you're interested. But the reason why Lexotech loves this toy is because he really engages all types of learners, right? So we have their, our kinesthetic and tactile learners, we have our visual and our auditory learners, and he really engages all four of those learning types. And he's also very easy to use. So I was gonna do one little thing with him if he's cool. gonna cooperate with me. Um, I'm gonna push his recording device and we're gonna have him sing a little song about autism life. Okay. Well, Mike, you want me to play? Say something, and I'll sing it back. Yeah, really. Autism Live. Autism, 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 so he sang a lot about autism. He didn't quite get my live in there, but uh, <laughs> he's so cute, mom, though. He's, yeah, he's so cute, and he's very visual. His belly lights up. He really encourages kids to move and groove with him, and then also practice their speech and language and uh, everything else. So he's just a really fun interactive toy that the entire family can engage with and have fun. Really, really cute. And, uh, you know, we have seen time and time again those toys that when you talk to them, they repeat back what you say. So reinforcing for our kids who are beginning, emer have emerging speech. Um, it makes them want to talk more. And if the, if the toy doesn't understand them, um, it makes them work on their uh, articulation in their diction. It's, it's a really amazing thing. So great, fun, reinforcing toy. I love it got a nice social emotional aspect to him too so he's like a child's friend you know so it encourages them to interact with others after they interact with him and it's a, a confidence booster to go out and talk to peers love so it really fun. Love him. so the next one on my list is the play school elephant ball popper and of course if i push him he's probably going to go everywhere but the thing that we like about him that that is adaptable is his trunk right here on the top it turns in lots of different directions. So depending on the child's mobility, we can have the balls go right back inside of his ears instead of flying everywhere. Or let's say maybe the child is working on, you know, encouraging their left side movements. We could have his trunk turn towards the left, the balls would then fly out that way, and he, the 
the child would have to go over that way to collect the balls by reaching their left hand out or maybe scooting over that way or walking that way to go get them. So we really like the adaptability of this Elephant um, ball popper. popper. And I can, I'll do it for you if you want real quick. I do, I do want. Now my son had the elephant, I want to see him. I don't have the balls in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's hours of fun. Um, my son had the, the way years ago, the elephant one where the butterflies came out. He is loud. Okay, Shannon, sorry. <laughs> It's really loud. Uh, so keep that in mind. He's a louder toy. But I will say, I he was just. Well, let me say, he does have um, volume settings. So okay. FYI, you can turn him down. So that okay. Helps. That does help. We like the, the volume setting. But uh, I was saying that my son, years ago, the elephant, it was it was a long, flexible tube, and it was, it shot up butterflies, and you had to right. try to catch the butterflies. And it was a great toy. Our therapist used it um, for all of his breaks, and then as he, as he got better at it, then they would say, okay, now you just have to catch the red butterflies, don't catch the yellow ones. Um, we had hours and hours of fun with that elephant thing, and eventually he outgrew it, but um, good, good toys, really fun. Agreed, yeah, so this is our, our new updated version of that, the butterfly one, and, you know, again, like you said, it, there's so much ability with him and different ways to challenge kids once they um, are familiar with it and they know how to interact. You can adjust his trunk and, and have the child uh, play with it in a different way. Love or it. you could get, um, you know, a net for them to catch the balls up in the air or only have them catch a certain color. So exactly, there's a lot of ways to play with elephant. Absolutely love it. Okay, what else have you got there? So the last two on my list. Don't you want to go to Aaron's house? Doesn't everybody want to go to Aaron's house? Yeah, you should come over. We always love visitors. Chicago, wintertime, not so great, but you are more than welcome to come. <laughs> okay, so um, what is that? The last, the last two on my list are Playmobil has a new line of products called Summer Fun, and they are carnival sets that kids build, right? That's what Playmobil does. They want kids to build. Um, but what is so exciting about these is they all have light-up features and movement. So there's a really nice reward for the child after they get it put together. And if they can't put it together all by themselves, what a wonderful way for siblings or parents or grandparents to work with them to help put it together. There's not a million pieces. It's, it's really not super challenging. It won't take hours and hours. Um, so it does have some fast reward to it. But the thing we really love about this is that it has a manual crank with it where the child would have to turn it themselves to see the um, Ferris wheel or the um, carousel move. But Playmobil was brilliant and they have an accessory that you can purchase that makes this um, in uh, like a battery operated okay. toy. So they can plug it in and it will always and rotate. Okay. So that it, we love that. That is one of the things that we just absolutely loved about this because all kids can access it that way. Or maybe they want to use it in their room at nighttime where it provides them some sort of sensory feedback that they need ongoing versus manually turning it where they might get frustrated. So we love this about Playmobil. Love it. Love Playmobil. And what's the, I see the last one that you have there. I, I can't wait to see what that is. Yeah, so this one is the carousel. It's a really big one. Okay, cool. So same situation, lots of different types in this line that they have of summer fun. Um, and this winter, we might need some summer fun. So this might be a great one to have um, at your holidays to, um, you know, rejuvenate with some sunshine from summer fun Playmobil line. I love it.